But first, it was considered one of the deadliest firefights for U.S. forces since the war in Afghanistan began nearly a decade ago. But for the parents of the soldiers killed in the Battle of Wanat, the war rages on. The Army today reversed a decision to punish three officers for command failures that led to the death of nine U.S. soldiers in July of 2008. One of those killed was from Hawaii. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto talked with the family of First Lieutenant Jonathan Brostrom. Jill, what was their reaction? Well, Paula, I spoke with retired Army Colonel David Brostrom by phone. He was in Atlanta for today's briefing with Army officials. He said he and the other families of the soldiers killed were blindsided by today's decision. The Battle of Wanat was considered a turning point in the Afghan war in July 2008. 24-year-old Army First Lieutenant Jonathan Brostrom of IAEA was a platoon leader in charge of about 45 U.S. soldiers in the remote outpost near the Pakistani border. He died along with eight other soldiers when they came under attack by the Taliban. One investigation found no one at fault. Then a second found three officers negligent for leaving the troops vulnerable deep in enemy territory. Brostrom's father, David, a retired Army colonel, called today's decision a slap in the face and says the Army seems to have forgotten about his lost son and eight others. We allow leaders to make those decisions in combat and not hold them accountable. What they have done here, uh, the Army has now reinforced failure. Army officials told the families they concluded the three officers had done the best they could, considering they didn't have enough troops or equipment, and reprimanding the officers would have a chilling effect on other battlefield commanders who have to make crucial decisions. Brostrom says he and the other families were expecting closure at today's briefing. Hold people accountable, implement recommendations to change some of the Army protocols. And we have a four-star Army general get up and say, nope, we're not doing any of that. This is what I found. And it's already been approved. So it was very disappointing. Now, according to Brostrom, it's not over just yet. He's scheduled to meet with Senator Akaka in Washington on Friday, along with Senator Jim Webb, a member of the Armed Services Committee. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.